Welcome back to another video. Fupa game. You see what we got right here? Got them Elka shocks. I'm really just getting straight to the point. It's like 3 in the morning. I'm supposed to be recorded this shit. But, so, I got the Elka shocks. There's the manual. You see that? F3S 2015 and up. I got a 2016. So there's my stage four in the rear. And you see I already got it. You see I already got it adjusted. They already adjusted it for how I ride. You know what I'm saying? So that's my stage four in the rear. I'm gonna get rid of that uh rear shock. That rear shock suck. So this going on the rear. And like I got this right here. This is the adjuster right here. So if I want to make adjustments, I'm going to click this button. Nah, it's twisting. I'm going to click that button right there. A few clicks to make an adjustments, but I don't like what I, you know, how they got it set. But it's a stage four. What came it? Stage four, stage four. Stage three. This going on the front. See, they already got it preset for me. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what the stage three looks like. Stage three right there. And then you got your clicker right here. So, if I don't like how the preset feels, then I can adjust it. And the phase three only has so stage three only has a low compression. You can see it right there. A low compression for stage three, four, and five. And then the rebound is stage four, five, and two. So on my stage four I got low compression and rebound, but on stage three I only got low compression. And it's going in the front. I'm saying so. These shocks cost two grand off of the monster website. I order from themonster.com. Had to get rid of them stock shocks because they suck. <laughs> Got the stage threes in the front. That's your reservoir right there, your dampening system for the stage three. Stage four in the rear. With your dampening system right there for the stage four. I was going to do a, um, I was going to do a, a, a ride comparison between the Elka shocks and the uh, Fox shocks. You know, they stock on the F3S, but we don't have really good curvy roads by my area in Texas. So, I mean, you really can't see the difference. You really can't see the difference for real, but I can tell you firsthand is a big difference between these and those Fox Shocks. It's a real big difference. So if you got Fox Shocks on your bike, I mean, it's still personal personal preference at the end of the day. But in my opinion, I would tell you to get rid of them, go with M2 or go with Elko. Regardless, take the stock shots off, take the Fox Shocks off the Fox shocks off and just replace them because they got way better shocks out here. But Elka shocks, I done rode all through DFW with them, rode Oklahoma with them, did back rows on them. Yeah, they're they definitely worth the upgrade. Definitely worth the upgrade. 
But I remember I was going to tell y'all about why I had to get my rear shock fixed. So, um, I did a, I recorded it before I took it to the shop. But that Allen boat right there, that boat, the head had broke off. So when it broke off, I couldn't uh, adjust my preload collar. So I was tightening it and I don't know if the screw was weak. I have no idea. Maybe I tightened it too tight, but the head broke right off. Also, shout out to my boy, Big G, putting my shock, my rear shock back on my bike. I should have went to him from the jump. Lesson learned. But anyway, yeah, so these shocks are way better than the stock shocks. And as you can see from the clips, this rear shock keeps you from bottoming out. That stock shock is terrible. It's straight garbage. You're going to bottom out every time, especially if you got a patch on the back. So, yeah, go ahead on. Upgrade your shocks. Stage one through five, whatever. Get M2 shocks. And, man, you know what I'm saying? Make your ride. Make your ride a whole better ride, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Until then, game we out.